ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Open World Dreadnought, where today we continue our Shipyard Champions campaign. Last time, oh my god. Honestly, that was tough. I did not expect my fellow admirals to do that badly. I thought I did very badly. But no, I got second place. First place was a tie between Panzer Graf and Lost Galaxy Gamer, who both, well, stayed at maximum range, um, survived, survived without taking heavy hits, so they got seven points. I got five points, um, together with stealth. So yeah, we survived. I. I'm the only one who got a kill. Take that, people. Take that. I'm invincible! Yeah. <clears throat> Third place. Um, Rosilli and Brother Monroe. They got zero points, I believe. And Iron Wolf actually lost a point. What? He got blown up, I suppose. <sighs> wow. So, yeah. Quite, quite, quite a... Uh, a episode. Loved it. <coughs> Although I, I, I can understand you folks being grumpy last week because we didn't get any kills. <laughs> Today we are going to do something different. Today's challenge is made up by Lost Galaxy Gamer. And oh dear, that means we are almost out of admirals, aren't we? Two, three, yeah, this is... Episode 7 already. Yeah, that means this is the... Well, one of the last for at least... Then all the Admirals have done a single episode. Huh, cool. It's going quick. <laughs> um, let's take a look. Today's mission... Gunboat Diplomacy. But we're not going to use a gunboat. Or are we? No. Um... You're here to bully a nation with a smaller navy. And you're gonna do it with a single battleship. Okay, single battleship. We are playing in the 1910s. Check. A range of 10 kilometers. Ooh. The weather is stormy. And it is daytime. My forces is a single battleship. The enemy forces. Four light cruisers. Ten destroyers. Ooh la la. Your country can be any country. I say. How about going... I'm tempted to go Germany. I mean, bullying smaller nations... In the early ninth, in the early twentieth century, I mean Germany sounds like a good, uh, a good nation to do that. Enemy nation. Hmm. How about United States? I'm going to butcher the United States. Obviously, a minor nation. Hmm. Okay. Killing a light cruiser will give me, well, two points for each ship that I sink. However, if I get hit by a torpedo, I'll lose a point. If my ship sinks, I lose ten points. Okay, I'm not allowed to sink. That much is obvious. Now, um, design restrictions. Uh, 1910s, just double checking. <clears throat> 10 kilometers, stormy day, yeah, design ships. Four against ten. <coughs> design restrictions. There are some design restrictions on my ship. And those restrictions are with the, with the main guns. I am not allowed to use any big guns. Except you can only have one main gun with nine inch. And I cannot increase the diameter of any gun. So, I need at least one 9-incher on my ship. 
Let's put you here for a moment. Okay. That's the only main gun I may have. Otherwise, only secondary guns. That is essentially what I am in need of doing. However, discard hole. Let me first check out the holes. Hmm. They're all pretty much the same in that regard. 6C sustained speed while turning. Dreadnought 3 is the best in that regard. Yeah, I think Dreadnought 3 overall is the better hull. I do want it small though. I'm gonna hunt destroyers, so let's go at least 25 knots. Don't want to run out of fuel, thank you very much. Like I said, a 9-incher. Um, I can have a 9-incher with a single barrel, dual barrels. How about going for a sniper rifle? I'm not allowed to increase the diameter of the gun. I am allowed to increase gun range. So, barrel length. Okay. I am not going to use this... Uh, this tower. No, saw so that's not necessary. In fact, how I'm thinking about going the smallest tower. Secondary tower. Let's do that. Am I going with a crane tower? I don't think so. No, 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 no. Duo. Dual big ass tower. I, oddly enough, I do want this. I do want the enhanced reloading and I want you to turn better. Going with Cordite and Dunite. Yes, I am going to take that risk. The risk, people, for the people that do not know, flash fires. I mean, I'm fighting low caliber guns. I'm willing to take that risk. I'm gonna skip on the Citadel. Auxiliary one shaft. I do want turbines. Veteran crew, because there's nothing stated about crew training. All right, and let's make her small. Anti-torp. Anti-Torp 3, although my main protection against being hit by torpedoes is being able to turn. <coughs> Diary, diary. Cuffing out my lungs? Because why not? I do wonder. Ooh. That actually works. Hold on. Move you slightly forward. Thank you very much. Main gun, centerline, nine incher, single one. Yay! Ooh, that doesn't look bad. Now, this is a matter of the weight offset. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, we can work with this. Flash fire chance is pretty bad. Um, let's say 7 inch. No. I'm not allowed to increase the diameter of any gun. Damn it. Yeah. In that case, <coughs> I'm going to deploy 7 inch casemates with a barrel length increase. And I'm going to drop the barrel length increase on the 9-incher. In fact, let's bring it back down to zero. 10,000, 7,000. I'm gonna drop the length of these guns as well, I think. That's a bit much. Let's go with minus 10. 7,500 meters. Check. Okay, 
secondary guns. I can have as many 8-inch guns if I, as I want. Um, however, how about... Come on. I'm not quite sure they will turn. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Uh, secondary guns, five inches. Okay, a seven and a five incher. I think that will be my main battery, seven and five inch guns. <coughs> Again, pardon me. Yo, other way around. Turn around. Like so, yeah, like so. That's what I wanted. Come on, is that the best I can do? Okay, yeah, that is the best I can do. And I'm gonna add a barbette there. Ooh. Ah, that's too big. Whoa. The rotation of this bar these barbettes are a bit weird now and then. But I think I am gonna add this. Christ almighty. Mm. What's up, Doc? I'm not a fan of what I'm doing here right now. Let's add dual barrels instead. You're interfering with my dual barrels, big. Okay, if I remove you, I'm gonna add the dual eight incher there. I'm gonna move you a slight bit. Oh, come on. Fuck it, I know it's not gonna be efficient. But I'm gonna increase the length of my ship. I'm gonna have me some fun here today. It does say she can rotate, but I don't entirely trust that. Hmm. Hold on, a new design. Maybe the Dreadnought 2 hole is better for what I have in mind. Hmm, maybe, maybe. First things first, though, let's see if I can make this work somehow. Let's get rid of that barbette. If I just add you. Okay, seven inch doesn't work, but I can add a five inch here on there. Hmm. Just to double check. Yeah, diameter of the guns I cannot do anything with, but other things are okay. 7500, the 7-inchers. Seven Let's bring down the range. 
five enters. Yeah, those, those are good. So 7,500 meters is where my ship will unleash hell. That's the idea. I do want another 7-inch gun here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is there no way... I can't put any 7-inchers here? Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Fine. Don't want to add 6-inchers to the mix, I'll be honest. Adding some 5-inchers? Yeah. That is a lot of firepower coming their way, I promise you that. Another... Casemate gun? <coughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna add another 8 incher to the front, if I can get away with that. I can, I'm sure of it, thank you very much. Although I admit this immediately interests me a hell lot more than this uh, eight inch gun. Let's get rid of it. I replace you with a five incher? Sure, five incher, why not? And I think I can have two more five inchers here. Okay, so 15 5 inchers, 2 7 inchers, 7 2 inchers? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 1 9 incher, 14 7 inchers, 7 dual 7 inchers, uh, dual single 7 inchers, 15 dual 50, uh, 5 inchers, and 3 single 5 inch guns. Nice. Now, the pitch and the roll is a bit of an issue on this ship. Let's go with light shells. I do want a lot of them. <coughs> Again. A bit worried about flash fire, though. Mmm. If I make you wider, the pitch in the roll goes to 90% rather than the 100%. That's something, right? Okay, if I take these two guns off and these two guns off, yeah, we can get it to 85, but now I gotta take out guns. I don't want that. First things first, clear out. Huh, okay, yeah. You tell me, game. I mean, yeah, that looks pretty nice. That is some pretty nifty firepower, I think. Well, I guess I can add the Citadel now. I mean, I got what I wanted. Now I can add the, uh, the fun stuff. Bullcats. Armor, how about 15? Let's go with 4, 3, 3, 4. All right, let's start off with that. Let's see, that's okay. We're a bit of an off weight offset now. Let's increase 4 deck. 
that's a bit much. Aft belt to four. Aft belt 3.5, four deck down to four, please. Okay, yeah, the pitch in a row is pretty bad. Like, seriously bad. But I'm willing to take it. I'm willing to use it. Like I said, let's have some fun this time. Launch. Enemy spotted me. Enemy is right on my tail. That's fine. That's a good enough course for me. Five times speed. Stop wiggling like a retard, please. Talking about getting seasick. Holy. There we go. I don't think I got torpedo detection, did I? Oh dear. In that case, let's assume for a moment. Enemy is here. Very happy with this cheat, I'll be honest. It's not turning fast. Mental note. I want all my guns to fire aggressively, no matter what we see or when we see it. Just fire. And 15 knots. Max cruising speed is 12. Alright, 14 knots it is. Longer see the uh, enemy. They can see me again. Enemy is within my gun range. I'm in no hurry to engage, man. I'm in no hurry to engage. Also, wow. I'm talking about getting seasick. Also, one of those things that I kind of dislike about the models of the game. I don't often see models that I'm annoyed with, but in a storm, I would like the propellers of the ship to actually move. This is killing me. At least my immersion. There we go. I believe I have engaged the enemy. Daga, 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 daga. Oh, wonderful. Do some daga. <laughs> Alright, let's start a turn, because by god we're in torpedo range. Ooh, we did some good damage there. Incoming torpedo. They missed, second salvo, third salvo. Increase to flank. Enemy ship down. Enemy destroyer down. Ladies and gentlemen, we got our first kill. Keep on course. Three, two, one. Torpedo impact. Now. This one might just miss me. No, second torpedo hit. Damn it. That's two points. Two points lost. Not out. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that barely missed me. Darling, please fire at the ships closer to me. Thank you very much. Alright, start your turn. And 
gonna turn back. Destroyer down, destroyer down. Target to Walker, she's an easy target. Walker is out of torpedo ammo. Des Moines sadly is not. Neither is Waddler. Waddle. Let's take a look at Waddle, shall we? Four torpedoes a salvo? Ooh, I thought they only fired two torpedoes, so maybe three. Interesting. Four and a half inch guns. 5,000 meter range. Yeah, I am outgunning them. Obviously. Des Moines, seven inch gun. Yeah, she's old. Has also four torpedoes aside. Interesting. Third ship down. I think that was a destroyer. Going to turn back again. scored two torpedo hits so far. That means I lost two points in this engagement. Rather frustrated by that, but it is what it is. Possible torpedo launch from the Henshaw. So, full reverse. And stop reverse. Uh, full reverse, full reverse. Now, stop reversing. Three destroyers gone. Four destroyers gone. Build up speed. What is my speed? 11 knots. Enemy light cruisers coming in now. Langley is down. All guns, sign you one, please. They are out of torpedoes. Possible launch, but I assume they detonated. Because they went from 3 to 0 in an instant. Can't imagine them launching all exactly at the same time, so I'm gonna risk it. And I shouldn't have risked it, but oh, barely dodged them. Oh my god! Oh my god, that was so close. Okay, yeah, that was a misplay on my part, obviously. One torpedo on the young Youngstown. I wanted to say Yorktown. You know, that's what happens when you just scan the names, rather than um, actually reading them. You know? Ooh, the destroyer is closing in. Kill it. Replace this 9 inch guns with two, uh, two 12 inch guns, and it would actually take this to battle into a, into a campaign, I think. It's a good escort uh, battleship. I mean, yeah. That said, slow down for a moment and back up to full speed. Sunny one, gone. is gone. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them all. 
So, each ship killed is two points. So, two times 14 is 28 points. However, I took two torpedo hits. So, 26 points remain. Will that be enough? My competition is strong. You know, Brother Munro, Stealth, Panzergraf, uh, Iron Wolf, Bro Silly. It is very tough. It's a tough season. Lost Galaxy Gamer himself, of course, don't forget him. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure this will be good enough. But it is what it is. And this is my final attempt. However, I gotta check something. No, okay, there is no acoustics available. I was like, oh my god, did I forget to add acoustics? You muffin hat? But they weren't available, okay. No, that's good, that's good. <sighs> yeah. The Kaiser Barbarossa. I like her. I like her. Could have done better, probably. Although that first, all the salvos that are underestimated missed me. So I should have realized the, uh, the reverse button. I should have used that earlier, I think, in the earlier salvos. I think I could have avoided at least one more torpedo. Also the bigger hull, I'm not sure it was actually worth it in this case. I think in the end I should have gone with something more like this, a smaller hull, but yeah, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.